Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to deal with uh, SQLite databases. So what SQLite actually is, it's a portable and uh, easy to use database that you could uh, uh, run uh, SQL uh, queries over it. So that is the basic and the most simplest of explanations. And in this episode, I'm not going to deal with SQL queries, meaning I don't want to explain them now. I'm going to create uh, one uh, entire list of uh, tutorials about SQL. And now I'm going to teach you how to uh, deal with uh, SQLite databases from uh, our script. So for that purpose, you are going to need uh, our SQL uh, Lite uh, library. And if you don't have that library installed, uh, go into your uh, R terminal and type uh, install packages and in quotation marks, in brackets, type uh, rsqlite. And if that is done, let me introduce to you this program. So a DB browser for SQLite. And now we are going to create one really simple database with only one table and with uh, one column uh, that we are going to use for uh, this tutorial only. Now click to new database and now find location that you would like uh, to store uh, your uh, database. I'm going to uh, use our local directory. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to call this file test.db. And now I'm going to create table test, one field ID, not necessary for this purpose, but let's have it. Uh, use all of these uh, checkboxes, so not null, uh, primary key, auto increment and uh, unique. At this moment you don't need to know uh, what uh, this means and now click once more to add column and we are going to add column name that is going to be of uh, textual type. Click OK and now we have our database uh, with only one table and with one important column. So now I'm going to create connection to this database. First thing that we need is actually to load our library. R SQL light. Uh, keep in mind that uh, this name is key sensitive. Now I'm going to create database connection with function db connect and first argument is going to be R SQL light double column SQL light comma and in second argument we are going to type path to our database so test DB uh, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, execute uh, SQL uh, code from our script First argument is going to be database connection and second argument is actually going to be our SQL uh, query. Insert into table name test column name name values let's say John and let's insert few more values like this at the end we are going to uh, disconnect uh, this database DB disconnect. This is housekeeping stuff. But keep in mind that if you run this code without this function, probably nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, but if you have like uh, multiple computers uh, assessing this uh, database, you are probably going to get yourself into huge mess. 
So create a good habit and use this uh, database uh, disconnect whenever you don't need to query your database anymore. So now I'm going to run this code. Ah, yes. Whenever you deal uh, with uh, this application, DB browser, and whenever you make some change, you are going to have to write those changes. And I'm going to run this code again. Now everything is fine. What this result actually means, means that all of three queries are successful. And let me show you what we have in our database. Uh, right here we have this uh, browse uh, data tab. I'm going to open that and in here you could see that we have all of three values. And let me show you how to uh, delete value now. I'm going to use the exact same uh, function but only with delete query. Let's say that we would like to delete ye. I'm going to run this code. What I did wrong. Ah, yes. It's test, not table. Now, everything is fine now. Let us check. I'm going to refresh this data. And you see, there is no year round. Okay, and now what I want to show you is how to uh, read data from your database. Uh, first thing that we are going to do, we are going to uh, put another name into our database. Let's say that is going to be Janos. Okay, I'm not quite sure is it Y or J, but doesn't matter for now. And I'm going to create another object, variable, query, and I'm going to provide it with a result from the function database get query. Well, uh, this function actually runs a SQL query same like uh, this uh, DB execute. The only difference is uh, that uh, this uh, DB get query actually returns value from our database. So first argument is going to be our connection DB. And now we are going to type select query. Select all from test, just like this. And at the end, I'm going to uh, print that out. Query. And you probably notice that we don't have uh, Janos in this list. That is because I used completely <laughs> wrong query. Insert into test name values okay and now I'm going to run this query and yes now we have Janos so uh, that is all for this episode if you like this content please subscribe and see ya